Hey guys, do you remember my iPod Touch? The 8GB version. Well, how am I going to put this? I have done a few reviews with that iPod Touch, uh, such as uh, I, Dracula, uh, Space Dead Beef, Topple, and um, I've had that iPod for a long time. And do you know what's happened to it? It broke. Apparently it broke because of uh, I ran out of space. Because it's an 8 gigabyte model, but uh, once you get it, you've actually got 7 gigabyte capacity. And all, with all the apps I've been getting, I've been running out of space, and uh, apparently that's it. You know, it, went, it just uh, ran out of space, and then it just turned off. And uh, every single time I turned it on, I'd put my uh, passcode in. And when I put it in, just to type uh, one, uh, one number in, it would take a really long time. It'd take about 20 seconds just to input that command. And then when I actually put all my passcode in, the way it took me to the uh, home screen... It showed, as though it showed um, two icons that were missing. Yep, you heard me right. Two icons were missing, and then what it just does? It just restarts itself back to, back to my slide to unlock screen, and uh, basically it broke. It just keeps uh, going around in that loop over and over again. You know, I unlock it, it uh, cuts out on me and everything. You know, so I've got myself a new iPod in terms of that, and I needed more space. I needed the 32 gigabyte version because uh, I've paid for my apps. I'm gonna get all those apps back on, but uh, I need more space than just the 8 gigabyte version. So I managed to get myself an iPod Touch fourth generation, 32 gigabytes. It's got a camera, as you can see, uh, right there. You see that camera? Yeah, that's the camera. This camera has the ability to record in 720p high definition. And that is just what I need, not only for my own uh, personal use, but also for my YouTube videos. Now, here, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to use this iPod Touch to record my YouTube videos, such as my PSP videos, DS videos. I'm going to put this iPod Touch of mine on a tripod, which I've uh, purchased on eBay. And uh, we'll see how it picks up my PSP screen. Okay, so now this is my iPod Touch's video camera, and uh, it records in 720p, as I've mentioned before. And uh, let's see how it picks up my PSP screen. Okay, here's my PSP right here. I'll turn, let's turn her on. And look at that. Look how it's picking up my PSP screen. Let's, uh, now this, now there's manual focus with this. Okay, sorry about that. There's a uh, manual focus with this iPod Touch, where the iPhone 4 is uh, autofocus. This does autofocus a bit as well when it comes down to harsh lighting, but uh, to focus in on screens, you need to do that yourself. Now I've just been auto-focusing a bit by uh, touching the screen and uh, as you can see you can read this clearly video settings, photo settings, system settings, theme settings etc. So now when I wanted to, now I was going to do my Ben 10 playthrough and uh, a YouTuber is really asking me you know when will my uh, Ben 10 Protector of Earth playthrough be uh, taking place on YouTube. I said it that um, I'll be getting a new camera a new ca which we did. I got, My dad got a new camera for a uh, obviously family photos etc and I was going to use the video recording for YouTube videos and um, apparently that camera was not good enough so we had to send it back and uh, yes it has been some time but now as you can see I can record my, I've got myself an iPod touch which has a more than capable camera for the vid YouTube videos that I'll be doing so you can see this properly if I wanted to let's lower the volume down here so if I was going to do my uh, Ben 10 Protector of Earth playthrough and gameplay videos and etc for my PSP and DS I can use my iPod Touch as video recorder, so I can uh, do all kinds of things right here, you know. Um, yeah, show, show demos and everything, yeah. So, uh, yeah, themes, things, everything. And uh, just look at this. See that? How, you can definitely notice it on the gold color, or on this yellowish kind of color. When I go on, when I go on it, it's very. When I uh, select it, it's very bright. But my PSP, but my iPod Touch's camera auto focuses on it. See that? Bright and then it just auto focuses. See, so you can see everything clearly. But I'm gonna stick with blue. And uh, yeah, that's just. Uh, thought I'd just let you guys know. This iPod Touch's 32 gigabyte is really coming in handy. So I c all my apps are on it, and uh, it's a hell of a lot faster than my other iPod, which it's also got this camera. So uh, uh, yeah, this is just amazing. Um, I'm using uh, a tripod for my iPod Touch. If you want one, uh, I'm not going to provide any links, but uh, just search um, iPhone f iPhone 4 tripod 
on uh, eBay and uh, you should come up with some results because uh, this tripod I got is designed for some smartphones such as the Android and uh, apparently it fits with the iPod Touch 4 and uh, the iPhone 4 as well. So yes, uh, thanks guys for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe and expect HD videos from now on.